Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and today I'm going to make something with this starfish and all these pretty beads, all of which I got from July 2022's bargain bead box called Coastal Breeze. So I absolutely loved everything that came in this box. This little guy here, this starfish, he came but he was more of a bright bright silver and I love bright silver but when I first saw him, I envisioned him more of a weathery beach uh, look rather than the bright, bright silver. And so I did some investigating on how to make this effect. In fact, I have a video all about it that I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can uh, go check that out. But if you look closely, you can see a little bit of the silver peeking through. I wanted this to look like at one time it was you know all one color but then as time went on and it was you know in the beach and the elements and the sand and the sun and the breeze and all that stuff it just got weathered I also did the back and I used um, these paints and I used the green which to me looks more of a turquoise and the pink. This starfish actually reminded me of a piece I got from Curated Bead Box this month too. Remember him? And remember the funky hole? Well, this guy has the same weird hole. Uh, honestly, now that I know how to do this, I'm probably going to redo this piece because I see him weathered also. But I gotta figure out how exactly I'm going to hang him on whatever piece I'm going to make. I've thought about a necklace and I've thought about an ornament. And these are the beads I want to use. I really, really like these square uh, agates. They're crackle agates. Aren't these pretty? They look very weathered also. And then of course we need to have a little bit of that turquoise. And these beads, they kind of remind me of a a tortoise or a sea turtle shell with all those little circles in there and of course we're going to use these pink shell beads and then I want to use these I really love how these glisten kind of reminds me of when the waves um, slap come slapping up onto the shoreline or you just look out and you can see the glistening um, the sun is glistening off the, the caps or even just the water. And that's why I want to use those. All right, now what are we going to do? So as I was trying to figure out how I wanted to put this piece together, and by the way, I decided to do a necklace, different options came to me. And I thought, you know what? I kind of want to use some fiber in this. So I have this really pretty wax corny cording it's called uh, Baby Mint. Isn't that pretty? And it goes really nice with the beads. And so I got a crochet hook. This is a uh, 2.25 millimeter. And look what I did. <laughs> I crocheted some beads. Aren't these pretty? I, I really love the way they came out. So now what I need to do is figure out how to attach these to this guy right here. Now, just to let you know what I did, for those of you who crochet, I just used a chain stitch. You have to bead all your beads on there first. So you put them in the order that you want them, the pattern you want them. And I just did a chain stitch um, and brought up a bead, chain one, brought up a bead, so there's, a, there's one chain in between each of these beads. And then once I got through all my beads, I just finished up with the chain stitch. I have left a tail on each end because of course we've got to attach him and then we also have to attach our clasp. So I think the way I'm gonna attach this guy is to put these two together and I'm going to make an overhand knot 
and I may have to make two overhand knots. Now, one's good enough. I don't need two. So make sure that's all tight there. So we have something that looks like this. And now I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to thread them through this hole. Let's see, how am I going to do that? Maybe I'll do, okay, I'm going to thread one through the hole. And I want to tie him I don't know why I keep calling this starfish a hem but <laughs> I do <laughs> anyway so there's one tie I'm gonna tie a knot and then I want to do an overhand knot because if I don't these are separated out and I don't want them to be separated out I want them to be together so let's do an overhand knot. And I've made necklaces like this before with hemp or jute. It's very boho. I'm gonna make sure you slide that knot down. Okay. And it's going to kind of lay off to the side, but that's okay. That's part of the style. Now we have these two left, and we can do a couple things. We could hang some beads off there. I think that's maybe what I want to do. We could also just cut it and fray it and just let it hang, but I think I'm going to put a couple of beads. So let me dig around and see what I want to do. Um, probably just put a few beads on here and tie knots and then they can dangle. Look what I did. I had one more of these really pretty beads. So I hung that along with those crystals there. And then of course a little starfish. And I've got them kind of off centered and not even. So the next thing I want to do is I want to untwist this and kind of fray it out a little bit give it that kind of boho look and a lot of times if you get like a needle which I'm going to dig around and find my needle and just kind of comb it through you get a really neat look so let me finish fraying these and trimming them up and then we need to add a clasp so basically I just take a little pin like this and I can comb all the fibers out and kind of uh, kind of like to comb them together otherwise you might get them to separate out and then you just trim it off and uh, that's one side there and as time goes on this will kind of get more um, Fray-y, if that's even a word. Let me get this other one completed. And then I need to figure out what kind of a class I want. I don't want to just tie it on, so I need to come up with a, a cool clasp. So I'm just going to use the other class that came in the bargain bead box. I already used one in a necklace. And I'm just going to basically tie it on here and fray the ends. And this is going to be um, maybe a 17 inch. I want to tie this a couple of times. I want to make sure you know, that we have a knot so it's not going to fall off. Maybe a couple more times. I 
I just always like to make sure my pieces are going to stay put together. Nothing like purchasing a piece of jewelry and it <laughs> comes apart. You don't want that. Or making a piece of jewelry and then it comes apart. All right, so we got that side on. Just do the same thing with this. Now this one, you're going to make sure, because it looks like it could go all the way down. We don't want that. So we're going to make sure we tie this one pretty good. I keep getting weather alerts. It is so hot here. Ugh, and we need the rain really bad. Our garden is burning up. <laughs> all right. One more time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these ends and I'm going to fray them like I did this over here. And there's the necklace. Oh, this came out so nice. <laughs> I actually really love this style, this really very beachy boho. I'm going to put this on for you so you can see what it looks like on. But I did want to show you how this came out just by fraying the ends. And you don't have to do that. I just like the way it looks. It looks very um, beachy boho. And here's what it looks like on. Perfect for t-shirts. I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, signing out for now. Bye-bye.